हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर क्रिस्पी गोभी चिली दिस इज़ अ वेरी सिंपल एंड ईजी रेसिपी ऑफ माइंड सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड यू विल रिक्वायर फोर टेबल स्पून ऑफ कॉर्नफ्लॉर थ्री टेबल स्पून ऑफ ऑल पर्पज फ्लॉर टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ राइस फ्लॉर हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ पेपर पाउडर हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ रेड चिली पाउडर हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ सॉल्ट हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ गार्लिक पेस्ट हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ जिंजर पेस्ट अ पिंच ऑफ गरम मसाला एंड हाफ अ टी स्पून ऑफ सोया सॉस एड वॉटर इन टू दिस बोल एंड मिक्स इट वेल यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज योर फिंगर्स टू चेक दैट देर आर नो लम्स फॉर्म इन दिस मिक्सचर Add water little at a time so that you can monitor its consistency. Check for the consistency of this batter. It should not be too thick or not too thin. This is the right amount of consistency that has to be maintained. Add the gobi into this bowl and mix it well. so that this batter is coated on it completely add oil into a pan and add sufficient amount of oil so that when the gobi is immersed into it it should be completely immersed and maintain a gap so that it doesn't stick to each other Be careful at this moment because the oil is too hot. And keep turning them occasionally so that it gets cooked from all the sides. Once the color is changed to golden brown, you can drain the oil off and place it on a paper napkin. Heat two tablespoons of oil into a pan, and add green chilies. Two to three green chilies, and braise this for some time till the crackling sound stops. At this moment, add finely chopped onions, and braise this for some time till they are translucent. add finely chopped garlic and braise this for some time till you get the aroma of the garlic add capsicum and finely chopped cabbage braise this mixture for some time and add spring onions mix this mixture and don't overcook it so that it loses its green luster add the gobi into the pan and add 1 teaspoon of tomato sauce half a teaspoon of chili sauce and half a teaspoon of soya sauce don't add too many much of sauces because it's going to become 
too soft and lose its crispiness. Mix this well and put off the flame or the induction stove. So here is crispy gobi chilli all ready to eat. You can garnish it with finely chopped cabbage and also coriander leaves. So don't forget to try out this recipe and if you dislike this you can hit the dislike button and you can always drop your suggestions below in the comment section. Till then, bye bye and I'll see you in the next recipe.